it's a little late for breakfast, but we're making it anyway because Deb has a recipe that packs a protein punch that you're going to want to try for your next morning meal. So here's what you need to follow along. Peaches, Greek yogurt, blackberries, blueberries, chia seeds, and quinoa. Sounds really good. Deb, I'm not the biggest breakfast person. I usually have a blended coffee, but I know it's traditionally looked at as the most important meal of the day. And now with so many people working from home, there's really no excuse to miss it. So what have you got up your sleeve to make the better breakfast option for us? Tracy, I am huge on breakfast. It's the best way to start your day and set yourself up for success. Health experts, they recommend that Canadians include 20 grams of protein in their breakfast. Stick with me for a few minutes here and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. You know, over these past months, we've all been spending a lot more time at home and you know, we've been, you know, breakfast became kind of a core routine for many of us. It was a time where we could all come to the table with the kids or with family or whoever it may be and we're able to enjoy a nice meal. We were at home a lot more. And uh, now as things are picking back up and we're getting, kids are going to school, we're going back to work, we're kind of losing that. So I'm part of this board, it's called the Better Breakfast Board. It's a group of chefs and nutritionists that they want, what we want to do is establish healthy breakfast habits, okay? And we have five guidelines. And again, this board is created so that those cool habits that we built or that core routine for breakfast that we had over those, these past few months, as life starts to get busier and we pick it back up, we kind of want to instill these five guidelines. One is breakfast should be a priority every day. The other one is that it should keep you full all morning. It should contain a balance of nutrient dense whole food. It should give you energy that lasts all a.m. And my favorite part, the fifth guideline, is it should be easy and tasty. So check how easy and amazing this recipe is. I'm gonna start by putting Greek yogurt down. I'm gonna put a, just over a cup. One cup of Greek yogurt has 10 grams of protein. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this Greek yogurt to be the base of a chia and peach power bowl that we're creating right now. It's very exciting. Also, I wanna mention that Greek yogurt has superior digestibility and it's got a beautiful thing in it that'll help you feel nice and full. You know, it'll, it'll keep you satiated. I love that word, satiated. <laughs> it'll keep you full and satisfied with that superior digestibility. It'll last you throughout the morning. So here we have, boom, Greek yogurt goes down. I'm gonna top that now with some maple syrup. Tracy, you're a fan of maple syrup, right? Absolutely, I don't know if you can live in this country and not be, it's just the best stuff. Nice natural sweetener, always tastes good. Hey now, that's a great answer. So maple syrup on top of that luscious Greek yogurt. I'm gonna to top this with blackberries. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a little bit of quinoa. Quinoa is an ancient grain, as is chia seed, another ancient grain. We're gonna add in some blueberries and you'll see how I'm kind of uh, assembling this kind of in rows so you can actually, you can actually give those specific ingredients the integrity and you know the respect that they deserve. And I really truly mean that. Chia seeds go on the side. Peaches, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some peaches right now and I'm gonna slice these up and these are gonna go on top. Now this is a very simple, simple recipe. As you can see, a lot of this is assembly. Now what's beautiful about this recipe is do it the night before. If you have an opportunity to get this layered up and set so that in the morning, when you got to get the kids to school or you got to rush off to that morning meeting or whatever the case is, you're already ready to go. All you have to do is pull this out of the fridge. So I think that's very, very important. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these peaches and lay them down here. So again, just to recap so far what we're, what we're doing, we have this beautiful bed of Greek yogurt topped with two types of ancient grains, the quinoa and the chia seed. We're doing blueberries and blackberries. And now I have beautiful raisins. I, but they weren't beautiful before, Tracy. When I pulled them out of the drawer, they were dry and dehydrated. They didn't look appetizing. So what did I do? I soaked them in some hot water for 20 seconds, just barely enough to cover them. And this rehydrated them. So now these are all plump and beautiful and delicious. This is a breakfast that's gonna keep you full. It's gonna give you the protein that you need. Again, 20 grams is what we're looking for. That's what health experts recommend that we get into our systems. We wanna be able to tackle the day and all the different challenges that we have to face, whether that's at work, whether that's at school, whether that's at the new job, whatever the case may be. Mint from the garden is the last thing that I'm gonna do. Sorry, the second last thing that I'm gonna do. Mint from my garden goes on here. And then lastly, just some beautiful honey. Tracy, if this is not a Power Bowl that you or anybody else doesn't want to eat, 
then I'm not sure that we can be friends, okay? We can be friends, don't you worry. I would gobble that up in a second. That's a really good breakfast. It's going to satisfy all of your five points because that is going to keep you full. It's, it's going to be tasty. And it looks so pretty. Look at that. It's I actually so love...